Hey guys, this is Sundar Ravindranathan here. How is everybody doing? Hope all you guys are doing super awesome. Right guys, uh, also I hope you guys enjoyed the previous two parts. Right, um, uh, you learnt, I hope it was really useful, the previous two parts of the Know Your Map series. Yeah. Now this is part three where I will be, where we are moving or our, our shifting our focus towards geography. All right. So know your maps, part three, uh, be all geared up, be ready, right? Okay, guys, uh, I also saw that many of you have done your homeworks. Lovely, lovely to see your dedication and efforts. And that's the kind of spirit I want when it comes to you guys, you know, being a part of Vedantu 9th and 10th, right? Okay, so typically the same format, what are we going to do? We will be moving ahead with types of map questions, number one. And in this case, what kind of map questions come? Geography has the maximum weightage also, by the way. Identification of major crops. So now we are moving towards crop production. What are the different locations? The third is the important one. The location of the major crops. And fourth, what kind of possible questions that come when it comes to those major crops that are there in India. And at the end, obviously, <clears throat> we will also deal with few of the most important previous year's map questions. Right? So this is how the entire session, today's session is structured. Let us move on without any delay. But before that, I want to talk about something really, really amazing kids. The exams are around the corner, right? Every single minute, every single hour, every single day is so, so critical for you. Because, because the moment you know that you are prepared, confident creeps in. You become so confident and no one can beat the most confident student on earth. Trust me. And for that, what is required is you require a perfect action plan. And that's exactly what you guys are going to get in this Revise India Camp, which is totally free for 10th board students. And that is taken by the best of our master teachers at Vedantu. Now, what is, be, what is going to be there? 300 topics, more than a thousand board questions, which are going to be solved, discussed, to make you really, really thorough. 72 hours, three days of non-stop education and non-stop revision, more importantly, to help you be the best and do the best in your exams. Happy? I'm really, really excited to see how this is going to turn out, guys. And I hope, as always, you guys are all there to support us, make this camp very successful because our success lies in your doing exceedingly well in your exams, in your performances, right? Hope you guys get benefited, make use of it. Don't just miss it, guys. It's just, you know, amazing. All right. Okay. So let's start with coming back. Let's start with the type of map questions. What kind of map questions possibly will come? It's simple, guys. What are the crops that grow in India? Start number one. Number two. Uh, we already discussed about what kind of soil is required for different kind of crops. Remember? That was part two. Uh, part three. Here, we will also understand what are the different location of the crops. Which kind of crop grows where? Okay. And what kind of questions come in? Type map, map questions. Now, okay. Let us start with major areas of rice and wheat. Where do rice and wheat come in? Where do they grow? Typically, Odisha, when it comes to rice, Odisha, West Bengal and Bihar. See, rice is grown in multiple places, including Tamil Nadu, right? In the southern parts. But ma major, major areas of cultivation is what we are discussing. And that is Odisha, West Bengal and Bihar for rice. Okay? So, typically this belt, right? Bihar. West Bengal, all right, and Odisha, this belt, yeah. And when it comes to wheat, it is the complete Punjab belt. Punjab, Haryana, you will find it here, right? You will find this place, right? Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh belt will also have this. UP and Madhya Pradesh, naturally, and Madhya Pradesh. Okay, so let us, uh, I hope you are clear where rice and wheat, where do they grow? What are the, you know? major locations of cultivation. Now, you're clear with this? Let's move on. Now, similar to this, what are the large, which of these states are the largest produce of what kind of crops? Yeah? 
So number one, sugarcane, it's all about UP and Maharashtra. Sugarcane, they grow a lot in Uttar Pradesh and Maharashtra. Tea, okay, tea is Assam and West Bengal. So, by the way, who brought tea into India? India was there, you know, it was there, but people who really made it so, so, you know, kind of a, a must need crop for everyday morning is Britishers. Okay, so then Azam and West Bengal. See, it's, it grows on the corner. I think last uh, session we dealt about this. Okay, coffee, Karnataka and Kerala. Karnataka and uh, Kerala, this belt, right? Okay, so now uh, cotton, this again we saw. Because one specific type of soil where cotton really grows well, black soil, right? Cotton, Maharashtra and Gujarat. It's typically here, this belt. Maharashtra and Gujarat. Then jute, West Bengal and Bihar. Again here. Right? West Bengal and Bihar. Groundnuts, Gujarat, Rajasthan and Tamil Nadu. Okay, why am I showing this? Because I want you to get a visual depiction before we go on to the actual maps. Alright? So, uh, groundnuts, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, right guys? And uh, Jawar, Maharashtra and Karnataka, Bajra, Rajasthan, Maharashtra and Uttar Pradesh, Ragi, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu, okay? Maize, maize is not just, uh, you know, used as an eatable, it's also used as kind of for feeding cattle, right? So, Karnataka and Madhya Pradesh. Okay, so these are the different types of crop. What cro crop grows where? That is this list. Have a quick look at it guys before we move on. Right, so we have sugarcane, tea, coffee, rubber, cotton, jute, groundnuts, jowar, bajra, ragi and maize. Okay, alright. So this is what we were dealing about. Rice, wheat, sugarcane, tea, coffee, jute, cotton, rubber. Groundnuts, Jowa, Bajra and Ragi. Now here, what I wanted to speak about is, now let us move to the maps. Yeah? Identification of these major crops. Where do they grow? Typically major rice growing belt. For rice, what did we say? We said Odisha. We said three places. Bihar and WB. Right? See here. These are, these are major areas. The light green are kind of, you know, uh, other areas where here and there it was. As I said, Tamil Nadu and all, it, the rice is also widely grown, but the major areas of cultivation are these. Okay? Odisha, West Bihar and West B WB. Now, when we move to wheat, remember the Punjab belt I said? Punjab, Haryana, UP. This is exactly how it comes. You clear? Excellent, guys. So I hope everyone is clear with this. Major areas of cultivation and light green shows the other areas where scattered cultivation is there. Similarly here, this is for wheat. Okay? Excellent. Now, so where are these crops? We already dealt, uh, you know, with uh, the names of locations wherever these crops are growing. Now let's look at the locations in the map. So when it comes to sugarcane, Uttar Pradesh and Maharashtra, is it not? UP and Maharashtra. Now when it comes to tea, Assam and Bengal. Coffee, Karnataka and Kerala. Clear? Karnataka and Kerala. So again, one quick uh, reiteration. Sugarcane grows in UP and Maharashtra. Tea grows in Assam and West Bengal, towards the corner. Towards, slowly towards the northeast. Coffee grows in the southern belt, which is Karnataka and Kerala. Okay? Right, guys. Now, rubber. Rubber typically grows in Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Rubber grows in Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Remember this, because these are the two most important and major regions where rubber grows in India. Other places are very, 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 very less. So, you can easily remember. The lower portion of the southern belt, Kerala and Tamil Nadu, rubber is there. Yeah? Okay. 
cotton. Remember this black soil, what I was telling you guys, it's typical in this belt. Cotton is always in Maharashtra and Gujarat. And jute, right? Jute is West Bengal and Bihar. Bihar and West Bengal. Right guys? So again a reiteration. Rubber, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Cotton, remember that what I told you. Uh, Maharashtra and Gujarat. And jute, West Bengal and Bihar. Clear guys? Right. Now, largest producer of gobs. What else? Groundnuts and Jowa. Let's quickly check. Groundnuts, I think I already said. Gujarat, Rajasthan and Tamil Nadu. They are the major, uh, you know, uh, they are the major cultivation of groundnuts happen. Okay. So, Gujarat, Rajasthan and Tamil Nadu. Right. Okay. Jowa, Maharashtra and Karnataka. Maharashtra and Karnataka. Clear guys? So please have a quick look at it. Where are the groundnuts found and Jowa? Right? Excellent. Shall I move on? Okay. Now, let's complete the remaining. Bajra is all about Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh and Maharashtra. These are the three regions where Bajra is grown. I repeat, Rajasthan, UP and Maharashtra. Ragi. Ragi is typically in the southern belt, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. That's where Ragi grows. Maize, again it is grown in Karnataka and Madhya Pradesh. See maize, Karnataka and Madhya Pradesh. Right guys, so Bajra is in Rajasthan, Maharashtra and UP. Ragi is in the southern belt, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Maize is in both scattered. One side is in Karnataka, the other side is in Madhya Pradesh. Maize. Right? Okay. So, now I hope you guys are clear what grows where. So, if you speak about the northern belt, the Assam there, it's tea typically. If we speak about coffee, typically southern belt, Karnataka, Kerala, etc. Right? Okay, now let us move on to questions in major crops. What kind of questions come? Okay, so now on the, let's look at the question. On the given political map of India, Four rice growing states are marked. One, two, three, four. We all we have to do is just identify what are those locations. Write the names of those locations against the respective markings. So one rice growing state, Punjab. Okay, it's also known for wheat, right? But however, with respect to this question, Punjab. Number two is West Bengal. Number three is Uttar Pradesh. And number four is Andhra Pradesh. Correct? Let's look at it. So, Punjab, number 2 is West Bengal, number 3 is Uttar Pradesh and number 4 is Andhra Pradesh. Clear guys? Right. Awesome. So, next question. Features are marked uh, by a number on the given political map. Identify the crops and the states with the help of the following information. A crop introduced by the British in India. Oh, did I give you this hint already? Okay. Here, one. Which is? Assam tea, is it not? Number two, a crop which is used both as food and fodder. Right? Number two, typically they have put it in Karnataka. Uh, so the right answer, maize, is it not? Number three, a crop that grows well in black soil. Hey guys, I, I leaked everything for you, well in advance. So, number three, typically you find it in Maharashtra, cotton, right? Cotton. So, number one, you find tea here, Assam. Number two, you find maize here, Karnataka. Number three, you find cotton, Maharashtra. Yeah, awesome. So, crop number one was crop introduced by British. Number two was a crop which can be used both as food and fodder. Number three is a crop which grows well in black soil. Right? So, tea, maize and cotton. Right. So, did we get it right? Assam, Maharashtra, Karnataka. Got it guys? Okay. So, locate and label the following items in the map. Jute producing regions, any two. Right? And rubber producing regions, any two. So, what are the jute producing regions and rubber producing regions? Typically, it was uh, Kerala and Tamil Nadu, right? 
typically for rubber. So jute producing regions, you find them, right? They, it typically goes in West Bengal and Bihar, right? So jute production, West Bengal, Bihar, rubber production, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu. Clear? Once again? All right. Now we are moving to previous year's map questions. What kind of map questions are here? Let's find out. So features are marked by a number of, you know, by a number in the given map. So different regions are marking. So you have the hints here when this came also is there. The year when these questions came. Average crop producing state. The first one. Again, you're going back to Assam. Typically T. Number two, leading jute or golden fiber producing state. Number two, West Bengal. Number three, leading coffee producing state. The undoubtedly Karnataka. And number four, major uh, sugarcane producing state is Uttar Pradesh. Yeah? So all you have to do is see here how important it is. It has repeated. This question has got repeated in multiple years okay across years so make note of it so number one beverages assam number one number two is leading jute or golden fiber producing state west bengal and number three is karnataka coffee producing state number four is uttar pradesh sugar cane clear guys excellent so did we get it we did yeah Okay, now on to homework. See guys, I am, uh, you know, trying to cover most of the major regions where map questions come in in geography. So your homework, please locate and label the following items on the given map with appropriate symbols. What are the cotton producing regions? Very simple. What are the rice producing regions? If you have watched this video clearly, you will be able to, it's just cakewalk for you. Yeah. So in the map, what are the cotton producing regions? And... Uh, what are the rice producing regions? This is your homework. All right. Excellent, my dear students. Thank you so much. I hope you guys really like the video. All right. Hit the like button. Put in your comments uh, as well. And uh, if there are any, you know, places where you are, are seeking help, feel free to put in the comments. We are there for you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Until I meet you guys in another video. This is me, Sundar Ravindranathan, signing off, guys. Bye-bye.